Today we'll be looking at the Universal 1314 curette and the Gracie curettes, specifically the Gracie 1 2 curette, the Gracie 11 12 curette, and the Gracie 13 14. For the universal curette, the face of the blade is a 90 degree angle to the terminal shank. It has two cutting edges and a rounded toe. We fulcrum with pressure on the occlusal or the incisal surface. We adapt the instruments using the toe third and insert with the closed blade at a 0 to 40 degree angle until we reach the sulcus, which we'll know when the tissue blanches. Once we reach the bottom of the sulcus, we open the face of the blade, meaning the tip of the blade is away from the tooth at a 60 to 80 degree angle. We activate the instrument by using controlled short overlapping strokes. The working end should remain beneath the gingival margin at all times. The indications for the 1314 is that it can be used on both posterior and anterior teeth. For anterior toward surfaces, we start at the midline of the tooth and instrument towards until fully interproximal. For anterior away surfaces, we start at the midline and instrument away until fully interproximal. So we'll be working on interior away surfaces on 6 and 7. We begin midline. Now we're working on toward surfaces. So we begin midline. We insert open and activate. For posterior teeth, we begin at the most distal tooth and work forward. We begin at the distal line angle and instrument until fully interproximal. We remove the instrument, return to the distal line angle, and work mesially with the working end pointed mesially. So I'll show this now on three and four. So first we have to find the correct working end. This is the correct working end. Because if we put it in this way, the terminal shank is hugging the tooth. That's how we know it's the wrong working end. We begin at the distal line angle. We work interproximally. Remove the instrument to the distal line angle and work mesially in short overlapping strokes. Then we move to the next tooth. And work mesially. The Gracie one two um, we'll look at next. It's an area specific curette that is used on all interior surfaces, K9 to K9. The Gracie curette has one cutting edge, unlike the Universal, which has two, and that is our lower blade. The face of the blade is a 70 degree angle, and the terminal shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. It also has a rounded toe. Similar to the Universal curette, we insert the face of the blade closed at an angle of, of 0 to 40 degrees. Once in the sulcus, we open the face of the blade by tipping away from the tooth, and we activate this instrument by using controlled overlapping strokes with moderate to firm pressure. The working end should be kept below the gingival margin at all times. So I'll show away surfaces on teeth, eight, teeth numbers 8 and 9. So first we find the working end, which is the lower blade. We begin at midline and work interproximally. And I will show toward surfaces on 24 and 25. So again, we find our lower blade.
we begin midline, work fully interproximal, So that is our Gracie, one, our one, two Gracie. Next, we'll look at our 1314 Gracie. The Gracie 1314 is an area specific curette that is only to be used on posterior teeth in the distal direction. We instrument from the most distal tooth forward, as we have seen in the universal curette. We begin at the distal line angle, work fully interproximal, and we remove the instrument and begin working on the next tooth. So I'll show this on tooth numbers 30 um, and 29. So again, we're looking for the lower blade. So that would be on this working end. We begin at the, the distal line angle of 30. We insert, open, and activate. Fully interproximal. And we do the same for 29. Finally, the Gracie 1112 curette is another area specific curette used on the posterior buckle and mesial surfaces. Similarly to the other Gracies, the 1112 has one cutting edge, which is the lower blade and a rounded toe. The face of the blade is a 70 degree angle to the terminal shank. So I'll demonstrate this on teeth numbers 29 and 30. So since we're working easily, we found the lower blade. We begin at the distal line angle. concludes our comparison of the Universal 1314, our Gracie 1-2, our Gracie 1112, and our Gracie 1314. Thank you.